All right, I'm going to show you how to use the Entitled CO2 monitor. The display differs in, depending on which monitor mode you use. You can use it in the monitor mode, the pacer mode, or the defibrillator mode on the defibrillator. So I'll show you the defibrillator mode. First off, there's this plastic bag that has this Entitled CO2 connector here. It's pretty hard to see, but when you pop it out, this is what it looks like. This then connects to a wire that's, that's found in the nest of wires in the back of the box and attaches like so and it interposes in the breathing circuit in a pretty obvious manner. This is where your AMBU bag would go, this is where your tracheal tube would go. Once you have a tracheal tube or a trach or something, it's pretty obvious who goes where. Anyway, this takes a few seconds to warm up, but as soon as you got it warmed up, when in defibrillator mode, it'll display waveforms and numbers for your CO2. You want to use this to guide your chest compressions during CPR. When you're in the monitor mode or in the pacer mode, as I'll show you here, again, it's got to warm up for a few seconds and it'll display your value right here, but it won't give you the waveform. So in terms of watching trends and so forth, even if you've got a patient back, I personally think we should be in defibrillator mode so you can see the waveforms and see whether they're diminishing or not. But that's all you need to know. Now if you've got a lot of secretions or pulmonary edema, you can pop this thing out and just reconnect the breathing tube system without it, Watch, walk over to a sink, wash this thing out, and then reconnect it and you're, and you're back in business again. You should do that. Thank you.